as you saw in the beginning parts, I did an unboxing and unfortunately the wine glasses broke so I was a bit disappointed with that so I decided to call my mom <laughs> and we ended up you know staying on video call the whole time throughout me unboxing everything else so I apologize for not finishing I was just sad and I wanted to talk to my mom so that's what I did so we're just gonna start off the unboxing right here um, I have some shipping videos I'll link them up in the top of the video so if you look out for that eye they will pop up and I'll also leave them down in the description box I have about two or three shipping videos that you can check out and if you have any questions please look at the description box of each video and if you can't find your question there then just send them to me via comments and then I'll respond back as best as I can but all the numbers are in the description box so if you want to find out who I ship with who helps me clear things down here all that good stuff so just check the description box first I'm gonna jump right into it so these items are coming from New York City and unfortunately it took a month to get them it really shouldn't take that long it doesn't usually take that long it only takes about two weeks but I guess there were some problems with custom um, but we got them so we can't complain so what I'm about to do now is open up the boxes I think I'm gonna save the haul bits for some other parts of the video because I get my camera back tomorrow so I'm just honestly showing you the unboxing of what I can but not everything This box is so heavy and it's upside down so I need to be careful when I'm taking stuff out of that box. I shipped some of my clothes down. Um, we also shipped, oh something spilled. What the heck? This is a very real life. transfer this macaroni into another container because I don't want it to go to waste but some of the top of the macaroni is open oh it's the flour but it's not like I don't know something but these are some of my clothes and rice flour and rice let me move this stuff an umbrella mommy bought this umbrella for herself but she gave it to me it's really nice and it's been raining a lot so I think it's slide up to open it's a very unique umbrella I can't remember how oh there we go see does it look cool and then it comes like that and then I guess you press this button and bring it back down it's really cool it's very cool um, anywho, let me get into the other stuff. I just want to figure out what is causing that white stuff. If it's the flower. I think it's... I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Be the rice only because I'm seeing a lot of rice grains in other parts, but I don't know where that what that white stuff is. Got some granola for breakfast in the morning. And some bags. Oh my god! My wine glasses. And more candles. I really don't want my wine glass to break. <gasps> my wine glass. 
my wine glass broke. I'm gonna be right back. But we're gonna jump right into this. I really wanna get this out there because a lot of these things I haven't unpacked yet just because I wanted to show you what I have. So I'm gonna start off with everything that's on the floor and then I'm gonna set myself up differently and show you guys what's on the table. So I'm just gonna grab some of the easiest things first. I got this lamp from the thrift store as well as this one from the thrift store and I also got this lamp which I think is my favorite one because it comes out in the coolest ways so I got these three from the thrift store I'll try to tell the price to everything and also please check the description box for as many of these links as I could possibly find some of them are affiliate links so I do receive a small commission if you do decide to purchase from the link but that won't affect your purchase any way shape or form and the price of the purchase won't go up because I'm getting a commission it's just you know another way to support me for putting you onto these items if you haven't heard of them before so these three lamps I got from the thrift store I'll try to find dupes of them for you guys um i got the three of them for 12 dollars so that was pretty pretty cool and by the way how are you liking my setup i got my camera back as you might or might not have known and this is technically like a part three haul so if you haven't seen the first two hauls from when i was living in portmore then check out the tab up here or check the link in the description box so I'm going to show you that i got some white vinegar as well, just some cooking items because it's very expensive here in Jamaica. Um, so if you do have the means to ship it down, then do that. I know some people get on me and say, oh, but you're not supporting local or whatever, whatever, whatever. But when you think about it, the shipping people are Jamaican as well and I have to pay customs duty and they have to pay customs duty and overhead fees. So. Technically, I'm supporting local. Either way, it's coming into the country and I have to pay for it. So, yeah, if you can, it's just a more affordable version than here because honestly, this lamp would probably been about $50,000. I kid you not, because I've seen lamps that were about this much. If anywhere from twenty-eight to $50,000, this lamp could be easily fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars with the lampshade, of course. I'm gonna have to figure that out differently. Um, things are expensive here, so if you have the means, do that. Got a big bottle of cooking oil. I really want to put away some of these things, and I haven't been able to do that because I've been waiting to film this video and I've been procrastinating. I got a bathroom mat. I'm excited to put this one in. I've literally not used it because I wanted to show you guys. I do have some items. I'm going to just talk about them now before I do get any further. I'll put an image over or a video over of what they look like. But I did ship down two rugs. So I'm going to put those up now. The gray one and the white one. And I also shipped down some clothing racks um, and some hangers. I might as well talk about the hangers now while I'm here but they're 50 slimline hangers it's kind of like a velvet type feel at the base and then metal at the top as you can see I'll flip it around so you can see it better this is what it's looking like and that's what I have on my clothing rack right now or something very similar um so I ship down a hundred more of them and yeah, so let's get back to the things that we actually have in front of us. Got some food items. You'll see some other food items up top on the table. Um, I've got a bunch of storage containers. So I'm excited to actually use them. These were from room to, it said room to room. I can't remember exactly where like Marshalls or something. I do have a shopping vlog, so I'll link the shopping vlog as well. You'll definitely see where I bought the majority of these items just in case I can't find them online. 
so you can maybe check out your local area if you are in america if you if you're in england then i recommend you check out places like primark um why am i acting like i know places you can just check out your local places in in the uk and i'm pretty sure you can find some stores tk max tk max in america there's tj max um but anywho here's another storage container this one says things i have this one that says organize so i have organize and things I hope it's not blurry, but if it is, I apologize. Um, brown rice. Shipped a bunch of rice, a bunch of flour, um, a bunch of like fast snacks, some ramen noodles, um, and oats. I have a bunch of oats already, but here's a bunch more. Um, I don't know when these expire then also ship down some air freshener because they were really cheap at walmart they're like 70 something cents they were less than a dollar i know that much which i thought was pretty cool and these are hawaiian breeze and cashmere wood cashmere woods oh my gel is running like why did i put gel on my edges also ship down some weights to work out whoa just 15 pounds <laughs> 15 pounds so there's two hexagon weights oh my god i also have a yoga mat to go along with my weights so i'll be working out as much as i can um before i head on to other things that i have behind me I'm gonna show you guys some picture frames. Um, I also have some light bulbs, and you'll see more up top. Um, but these are energy saving ones. This one is actually from Mega Mart, but I put up some other ones, especially these ones are energy saving light bulbs because you know JPS. Anyways, I have this picture frame. It's so pretty so dainty so I have this one this one is 450 I thought it was really pretty I really hope you can see it's regular at the back I have another cool picture frame this one was 450 I don't know I really like it I was gonna buy another one but I was like mm, they're overdoing it now um, but yeah and again, it's in the storage bin that I got. So I thought that was pretty decent. A bunch of rags that were like 70 something cents, less than a dollar. Um, wow, Chad left his AirPods. <laughs> I'm dead. Some deodorant, and my mom put me on. Honestly, she. Put me on because this deodorant smells so good it, i normally get um i normally get scent free but this lavender deodorant there's something about it there's something about it it smells really nice really nice she also sent in a bunch of masks i don't think these masks are for me but i held on to them but i really don't think they're for me um she accidentally put her um lint roller in the um, shipping stuff so I got really um, I just don't have the base but we can we can work with it and then she also sent down some men deodorant but like I said I'm holding on to it because they smell so nice sorry mom if you ever watched to get this far but also I have a bunch of rags um, again please check the description I'll be as descriptive as possible with the names of all of these items um these blue bins these shallow ones i cannot for the life of me remember what the name of the store is but i will put the vlog up 
so you can go and check out the vlog i do vlog in detail which store i'm in how much everything was um there are some small baskets or i think they consider these ones the medium baskets they're large basket bins so i'm gonna just use this for storage but they were really cheap they were also less than two dollars less than two dollars and they come in different colors they come in like a gray and they come in a white and they come in pink obviously and navy so it's a good look it's a good look it's a good look you can never have too much storage bins i'm obsessed with storage bins and some of those aren't mine some of those belong to mommy but until she comes and claims them i'm gonna hold on to it you know you know the vibes um so you can't have a jamaican shipment unless you have tissue um soap roll-on paper towel those type of things so we have some paper towels just to stuff extra areas of the box um we're gonna go into the hamilton beach got the hamilton beach kettle if you guys remember from my first haul um i had another one it wasn't hamilton beach and when i went to wipe the inside it cracked and it cracked very easy like it was it was too easy if i was back in buffalo um we would have put it on amazon put it no we would have put a report in on amazon because it really like i put my hand in and it, it broke off like it it was the craziest thing like the handle literally did a clean break off so um i knew it wasn't my fault because i like to clean inside of these and that's why i like the, the clear ones because you can see it you can see exactly what's inside and when you need to wipe out what's going on you know but anywho the hamilton one i recommend it lights up and it goes blue it's really pretty i know a lot of you guys have it already so if you do like it drop a comment down below and let me know what you think and if you've never used something like this let me know if you're interested i'll leave links down below so you can shop one of my links and hopefully you enjoy it as much as i do because i love them um also have this that i've had for years it's under armor got it from macy's i believe either macy's or jc penny but i'm feeling more macy's um and mommy bought herself one and bought me one like years like good couple good years yeah um and then it just stayed there it stayed in our house but yeah this wasn't that expensive i don't think it was any more than ten dollars because me and mommy always find good deals when we go shopping so i don't think this was any more than ten dollars um but it's really deep on the inside and it says it keeps things cool for 12 hours so that's that's cool so this is what it's looking like it's fairly deep um, yeah so i have a pressure pot an instant pot pressure cooker um i had to take it out of the box because my face wash spilled in the box um in the shipment box and messied up some stuff and also some coffee creamer spilled in the box the coffee creamer is mine it's my grandma's it spilled in the box and messed up a good amount of things so i had to you know yeah i had to take it out of the box but this is what it's looking like i know a lot of you guys have a pressure cooker um but auntie debbie bought me this and the story behind it is i'll make it real quick my friend from Japan gave me a rice cooker for the very first time and when I brought it home and told Auntie Debbie what it was, she made fun of me and she's like, oh, you young people are so lazy and blah, 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 and blah, blah, all this, like, she really, she dragged me through the mud, called me lazy, all these things, right? So the next couple days now, I see Auntie Debbie using the pressure, using the rice cooker like crazy. And to this day, I have not seen Auntie Debbie cook white rice on the stove top. I kid you not. I haven't seen Mommy do it either. The only thing I see her cook that involves rice is rice and peas on the stove top. But anyways, yeah. 
so she basically colonized my rice cooker that was gifted to me for years and then she decided that she was gonna buy me a whole new one because she colonized mine and you know that's what colonizers do they take your things and then they try to shove you away to the side and buy you something else or don't even anyways we're ranting <laughs> So she ended up bought me this one and this is a seven in one or nine in one I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is what you call it, a seven in one or nine in one. Um it's a pressure cooker. It can do soup broth, can bake cakes, which I'm very curious. I downloaded the app and they have instructions. So if you have an instant pot, whether it be an air fryer or uh, pressure cooker or any of any other of their technology kitchen tech. Then download the app because they have a bunch of cool recipes online, which I think is cool. Um, you can do eggs in here, slow cook, saute. You can do rice, beans or grains, porridge, oatmeal. You can sterilize. So you can. What I found out is that if you have a baby, you can sterilize the baby bottles in here or the the um, baby top things. I don't have kids, anyways. Um, <laughs> You can just sterilize things in here, which I think is pretty unique. Yogurt. I did not believe that one, so I had to download the app and go look up how you make yogurt. It takes a long time, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, and sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide. Anyways, you know how to pronounce it. Um, I had to google what the last one was because i recognized the name but i didn't know what it did so i looked it up and basically you know when you have meat or any of those other things and you suck the air out of it and it becomes like like that this can do that this can suck the air out of like the packaging and then you can store your meat in the freezer and have a lot of space so yeah, that's what sous vide or is. I'll, I'll pull it up on the screen. Anyways, in the front thing. So the next couple things behind me. Mommy had this that she bought on Amazon, I believe. And um, I think she bought it on accident thinking that it was something else. But it's a soft bonnet dryer. So I plan to use this to steam my hair. Hopefully I can steam my hair with it. Um, I'm gonna try it out when I take my braids out. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. That's from Conair. I'll try to find it in the description box. I'll try to find it in on the internet, girl. I'm starting to talk for too long where my um my words are getting twisted. The next thing I bought, and I remember the price of this, um, I believe it was from like um home goods. Not home goods, like Marshalls. Honestly, you can find it at the same location because when I was going around, I noticed they had very similar comforter sets. But this one was, I believe, $49. And I was gonna buy one that was more expensive that had less pieces. So guys, if you have to stand in one section for 20 minutes and look at all the packaging, do that. Because I was honestly gonna buy one that was, I think, $65. And it had, I think, four pieces. This one is a six piece queen comforter set. It includes one comforter, two pillow champs, three decorative cushions. So this is what it looks like. I cannot wait to um, take it out of this. I've been waiting to take it out of this just so I can show you guys what it looks like. But that's that. Oh, it is from Home Goods. I knew it was from Home Goods. $49. Can you imagine? I think that's a steal because even in Macy's I was gonna buy a comforter and it was just a comforter no pillows no shams no none of that for um, $39 so I saved a bunch of money the next thing um, as you guys remember is the brown rice and I also have a bunch of pasta 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 um yeah so i can't wait to remove those and make them all cute and put them in a container but i also have these this is from marshall's and they were 
to wash my meats if you're not washing your meats then i don't know what you're doing girl um but yeah this is how it came this big one is 5.99 but the smaller one inside is 3.99 I had to get up for this one and I'm sorry it's dark, but I have this bathroom rack. I think it's three tier space saver. I didn't have this one in Portmore and I really needed it. So I have this one now and it's from the same store that I said I can't remember the name of, but I do have it in my haul. So if you, not my haul, in my vlog, so if you want to check out the vlog, go and do that. I cannot wait to put this together. I've been waiting, all these things I've been waiting to show you guys. So as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to put it together and let you know how it goes. That's exactly what it looks like and I can't wait to put it together. We have another one of the storage bins with a bunch of food. Whoa. Cup soup, since you want to be shown that bad. Got the cup soup, um, some granola bits because I'm gonna get some yogurt and have you know healthier breakfast snack options, and then we have some more pasta. Um, so I'm really excited for that and the bin as well that I showed you earlier. Got some big bags of cereal, of cornflakes. So yeah. And then the last thing that I have on the floor to show you guys and we're going to jump over to the table and wrap this video up is this air fryer. Oh my God, it's another Instapot, instant pot um, creation um, or just instant creation. So it says more than just an air fryer. It holds up to four pound chicken or two bag of large fries. You can make kale chips at home. And I went live on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go and click my Instagram link in the description box and let's become friends or let's stay connected. Um, I went live and someone told me that she makes um, yam chips. And that sounds really cool. Yam chips. Yam chips. You can do banana chips. Um, any type of chips like it's really cool um, it's countertop friendly and they have smart cooking programs where they already have six preset programs that can be customized to your preference so on here it says you can air fry bake reheat dehydrate broil roast um, and yeah so I'm really excited to use it this is what some of the things are looking like this is what it's looking like on the back so this is exactly how the box for the um the instant pot pressure cooker came in but it had a handle but like i said the box got sullied so it was like falling apart um and like i said they have an app so you can scan the barcode on the box when you buy it and download the app and they have like a bunch of recipes and they show you pretty great how to you know how to do stuff so i'm really excited and it's supposed to be healthy so i'm gonna be eating a bunch of wings and i'm not gonna feel guilty until the next five years when they come on and tell us that it wasn't doing anything different but until then <laughs> until then let's head on up to the table and let's make this quick because i know this video is already pretty long um i'm just really really excited everything else on the top is like very small items so we can rush through it really quickly so let's head up there I have these lambs that I shipped down as well and I had got these lambs from I believe the store is called Ollie's World or something like that um, I got it a long time ago almost probably 10 years now like I got these to go to university and they were $7.99 it's a discount store and it's in Buffalo I don't know if it's in any other um, city or any other state but that's that I really think they're beautiful and I was so surprised that I got them for $7.99 each I didn't get any lampshade with them unfortunately so that's kind of my dilemma now but I think I have an idea of how I want to do the lampshades this I took from Auntie Debbie 
um, just as another storage method. Um, I see that she's put her teas in here, her tea bags. So I think I'm gonna store my tea bags in here as well. I also have, I'm gonna show you the dish first. I got a lasagna baking dish. Um, you can't really see it that well yet, but I was baking lasagna and I was baking it in one of the glass, like in that eight inch um, containers that I have and it didn't fit. So I got this one, which is an actual lasagna dish. So I'm excited to use it. Within it now, I have a bunch of canned goods. I have condensed milk, tuna, um, I have sardines, um, corned beef. What else do I have? I have bushes, baked beans, which I love the brown sugar, um, bourbon and brown sugar one. If you haven't tried this out from bushes, I 100% recommend it. It is so good. I also have um, canned corn, which as well is very good, to me at least. Um, I have a cork opener. I took it from Auntie Debbie. So Auntie Debbie, if you ever get this far into the video, it looks like a chicken. You know the dancing chicken? Anyways. Um, and then mommy accidentally put this in there, um, which I have now colonized. Um, it's just a knife, so I'm really excited to use it. I've been using the other one that looks similar to this, and they cut so well. They're like not your average knives. Um, yeah, so along with the cooking stuff, I got browning. Can you imagine? Um, Grace has products in America that's so much cheaper than the products in Jamaica. I kid you not, it's so funny. And they're exporting it to America. So anyways, it's, it's very funny. I also have um, pink Himalayan salt. I heard it's supposed to be healthier than regular salt, but I ended up getting regular salt either way. And then I have nutmeg, you know, just, just your basic um, cooking stuff. I also bought a bunch of candles. So this one, this one and these are from target and they were like four dollars three fifty four fifty that type of price this candle as well it came with a bowl but the bowl got messed up so i took it off this it smells like roses there's this one sauteed caramel butterscotch just some more candles from target I ended up getting um, creamy almond butter, so I'm really excited to try this out. And half deck healing clay for skin and for hair. This one was $9.99. It's twice the size of the regular ones that you normally see. So I picked it up because it's going to last such a long time. And... Uh, I can't remember the store, but like I said, I'm going to leave all my shopping videos in the description box and also in the tab up top. So this now, it's a three set container. So let me grab the third one, which is smaller. This I got for $9.99 from the thrift store. Three of them for $9. So as you can see. It says $9.99 times three. So all three were $9, $10 basically. So that was a good buy. I also picked up these, the Dole Fruit Cups. They're so, so, so good. I'm honestly very sad because I'm already almost done with this one. And then this is just a gel one. I didn't know this one was gel, but the gel one tastes nice. Just as good as this. There's this container that I took from mommy, but I believe she picked this up from Macy's and it was $29, but I'm pretty sure we got it on sale. I'm pretty sure mommy did not spend, I think this was actually $10, just like my other one, $10. I got a bunch of lights. I want to put this cool light with, um, 
look great with this lamp since the light's gonna be exposed. I think it would fit it perfectly. These were the energy saving light bulbs that I was telling you about earlier. I got them from, oh my God. I feel like I can't remember the names of these stores. Like my, my brain is really gone to like cheese. So I'm gonna pop up the names. I will be popping them up the whole video, so. <laughs> but I got these. These are $4, I believe. And it's been such a long time. It's been over a month that I bought these. Like over two months that I bought these, so. Please excuse the fact that I can't remember the exact store or the exact price, but if you check the description box, I promise you they will be in the description box. And if you want to save energy, um, cost on energy, then get light bulbs like these that help save energy. And they're eco-friendly. The next thing now is this shaker for cocktails so i can't wait to use this i'm not a big cocktail drinker but i can't wait i like wine but i'm i've been um on the cocktail side of tiktok if you haven't followed me on tiktok yet then check it out i'll just pop it up over here um but i've been seeing a bunch of cocktail videos and they look really cute so i picked this up and also french press I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, only when I go to coffee shops, I like drink like a, um, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, only when I go to coffee shops, but check this out. You can use it for tea. It says coffee and tea. I don't know if you can see it up here. So I'm excited to use it to do my teas in the morning. And it's just a French press. And I know a couple of you probably have French presses. So tell me how much do you like it. If it's worth it or not. Leave a comment down below. So this is one of my face wash. And I've been using Cetaphil for years. Like I always say 10 plus years. But I've been using it for a good time. My mom put me onto it. And I haven't left ever since. Um, I've put my cousins onto it. It's just so amazing. It's actually very expensive here in Jamaica, so I ship mine down. I have one that I haven't finished using yet so that I shipped down a year and a half ago because I shipped two at a time. And one of them actually spilled and messed up some stuff in the um, container. So that's why I only have one here. But it's so worth it. If you haven't used Cetaphil and you have like problematic skin, then I 100% recommend this face wash. I also have the body lotion. I have um, a face cream. It's just Cetaphil itself is a pretty nice um, skincare brand to use. But I also have Comet, which is pretty much the um, foreign equivalent of Ajax. Um, it's very strong. My neighbor, not my neighbor, the landlord lady, she um, actually brought it over here to clean up on some stuff in the house and she was telling me about it and it's actually funny enough because mommy actually bought it and put it in the container but i just didn't know um so i have ajax and i have this i have these plants that i'm gonna put in the bathroom I'm, i think i'm gonna put this one in the bathroom or maybe i put this one have no idea but they're so cute I got them from Target and they were pretty cheap. They were less than $6, so 100% recommend. I believe this one is from Target and I believe this one is like from Home Goods. So either Home Goods or Marshalls, but I recommend you get fake plants if you can't keep up real plants. Also bought some ketchup. Simple little things like that. Some pop tarts just to snack on. Um I like them, I like the strawberry flavor, and they were on sale, so we got them. And to go along with my creamy almond butter, um, I got strawberry jam, just to make some almond butter and jam. You know, like peanut butter and jelly, almond butter and jam, almond butter and jelly. You guys get what I'm saying, so I'm excited to try this. Smuckers is really popular brand, you can't go wrong with them, they taste nice. I got some straws, um, metal straws that is, just so I don't have to hurt the environment. And, you know, Jamaica give you the paper ones, but the paper ones are not the best quality. 
so by the time you're halfway finished with your drink it's all soggy and i don't like that have some extra sponges bunch of toothpaste i'm actually gonna put them in this container so i can show you the other containers some more spice or seasoning but then I also have these refrigerator bins, which I'm so excited to use. These are from Marshalls and they were $2.99. So you can use them to store things, to just organize your fridge and make your fridge look real cute. And then there's these ones as well, which I believe these are from Home Goods. Um, either Home Goods, Marshalls. These ones are $8 from Marshalls. And it's just three bins. And they're really cute, they're very deep. So excited to use these bins as well. And then the last two things, because I know this video is pretty long, so please, I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot of stuff. I have even more stuff than this, but some of them are for family, friends, um, and I don't feel comfortable showing other people's things. But I have this, which is a lighter. Um, I have a gas and electric stove so i can either plug it in and turn it on via electricity or i can um turn on it via matches so whenever light's gone um i don't really like using matches all the time because you know how matches stay sometimes i have to put it in and jump back and that's just me um or when i'm lighting my candles i have the ease of using these so these are old time stuff so if you remember this and if you still use it big up yourself because i'm still using it and then i got this this from the thrift store for five dollars can you imagine it was actually ten dollars but i had a tag i believe it was a yellow tag and it was half off the yellow tags in the store which this was a yellow tag item so i ended up getting it for five dollars so i can't wait to put it i'm gonna use it on my dresser i'm gonna use it to put my jewelry maybe put some candles maybe put some other little knickknacks i just feel like it's gonna be so cute anywho guys we're coming to the end of the video so i just want to tell you thank you so much for watching thank you for all your support a lot of these things i'm getting because you guys watch my ads um so i'm very grateful actually as i was ending off this video i forgot i got this throw and it was 12 dollars, and it's very long and it's very very soft but i just want to tell you guys thank you so much everything that i'm filming here is in part because of you guys so thank you a lot i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment subscribe share this with anybody that you know that like to watch household hauls and stuff like that and i'll try to bring more hauls to you especially hauls here in jamaica from stores in jamaica so thank you guys so much and have a great day bye i'm so tired and out of breath all right bye